this goes. All right, uh, a girl's world. I want to start this off by saying I'm not a feminist. I'm just here to paint a picture of what the bigger picture is. He raped her. He crushed your self-esteem like powder is dead, tainted it and sniffed it out like a crack head. What a shame that girl was to blame, pregnant at 16, like, oh, she's so hoary. I would never call a girl that word, because personally, I don't know her story, now that's sad. Us men are accusing these women of what they're supposed to be. Excuse me. Or she wasn't raised right, but she was. There was, you looked at her, it took one judge in a despicable glance. That's because you're not trying to get into her mind, you're trying to get into her pants. Like, what the hell is your plan? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I started off aggressive, but now I talk peacefully and calmly in front of your stars, so here's my message. Why do we sit here and talk to these women like they're some peasants? To all the victims, I give you my blessing. Now don't get it twisted. I'm not isolating anyone now because men can get raped too. But don't you dare blame yourself because it wasn't your sorry. Acting like it's your fault as the devil presses against your body. Now you're upset because you can't walk no more. Everyone's talking like, yeah, bro, she a whore, definitely. How could you let that man do that to you? You couldn't get away? You didn't tell him to stop? Come on, it's easy. Push him away. I want you to stop. I want you to stop. Look at them. There's this heaviness on your heart, putting your soul in denial. I want you to look at them with good health and a bright smile. Tell them to shut up. Don't run your mouth with that demonic voice. Talking left and right like it was her choice. You were masking, then you were passing, running around laughing. But yeah, she's okay. Thank God that you were asking. So you open your mouth and then a demon fell out. And then you unzipped your pants and that's when it all went south. Now look, told you I was 16 and I was sitting in class one day. And I told you, the teacher told me never talk about something you don't understand. But that's when I laughed and had a doubt. No, I've never been raped, but I was able to figure it out. I want you to close your eyes and imagine these words. He grew a demon in his soul and then he asked me to come. But he pulled my pants down, bent me over and my body went numb. I swear I was wearing my regular clothes, mama wasn't trying to mislead. She spent four hours in the shower after that trying to get clean. Now it takes, a what, takes away what you follow, there's not even a past or a hope. And then you deck, duck your head slowly, it fits perfectly inside you. Then it kills your body slowly, how do you feel now? I just want everyone to know that your sexual assault stories are different. That you shouldn't deal with it on a daily basis. People show, share their stories all over the internet, but that's not where you should start. You feel like if you start talking to someone, it'll all go away, but then it doesn't. Like, why are you running, trying to topple the shelf? It's good to talk to someone, but please, please start with yourself. Thank you. So, like, I have to take a second and be like, wow, you shouldn't be smoking jewels. You should be, keep, like, keep doing that. Um, you don't, yeah, you never hear anybody talk about sexual assault in Dearborn. It's, like, very taboo. And uh, for you as a, a man to, like, champion and, like, come up and, like, be a true ally to women is wonderful. Keep up the good work. Okay, 